Um, you know, we definitely got the outcome that we wanted. Um, I thought we played hard. We let a couple of positions get away from us. Um, and then execute like we, we usually do. But, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I thought the kids fought hard. Um, they were hung their heads down. Um, so they're proud of this group, um, especially Michael Clark, and they went through so much um, to complete that last year here. Um, and, you know, I definitely think that we have a championship program, and we'll be back. Um, but definitely, definitely hard to, to digest what just happened. Josh, the first question goes to you. Uh, you may unmute your line. Hi, Coach. Um, you know, tie game there midway through the third quarter. Uh, you know, what, what was the biggest thing you kind of saw change in, you know, the way the game played out over those last 15 minutes or so? Um, turnovers. Um, I thought we turned over, turned over the ball in crucial situations and crucial moments. Um, and it's hard when, when somebody's getting more position than they score the basketball. So um, turnovers definitely affected us in that last stretch. Um, especially, I think, when we were right there, we got five stops and we had opportunity to go up when it was 30 to 30 and we turned the basketball over. So um, that's something that's that will hunt me tonight. And, and uh, Amber, for you, um, you know, just just talk a little bit about you know the resiliency of this team to get to this point. Um, you know, what what has this you know told you about your teammates, and you know what does this do for the program moving forward? Just this experience. I mean, it just gives us fuel for next year. I mean, each person in there is ready to get back out there and prepare for next year. I mean, yeah, we had a few shortcomings, but I mean, it's just going to fuel us for the next go around. And uh, Faith, I know I know that you're a senior, but uh, do you plan to come back for the the one more season next year, or is that still undecided? Um, most definitely, we have unfinished business. We're going period, I, so I'll definitely be there. Just talk a little bit, you know, elaborate on that. You talk about that unfinished business. You know, how excited? I know it's early, but you know, how excited are you to get back and try to get to this back to this podium and lifting up the trophy? Well, it's going to start from day one. Um, we've always had a common goal to win a championship. Uh, we came up short this time, but, you know, we, we have the upperclassmen that will be able to be leaders for our team to make sure that everybody buys in, even in the summer, even before the summer, all the way through the season. I mean, it's a whole process. So we're going to be ready to, to do that. Next question is from Brandon. Brandon, you may unmute your line. Uh, the second quarter in yesterday's game compared to the second quarter of today's game, it seemed like a mm -hmm. short contrast. Um, you know, I thought that um, I think the first quarter was 17, 14, and then the second quarter was nine and nine both ways. Um, I think the biggest the biggest problem with that was, you know, I was kind of playing without the rotation that I'm used to playing with because of foul trouble. Um, and it's no hidden fact that you know when you're kind of out of sync um, with rotation. You know, you're getting the ball into to people hand that, that she's not comfortable with the ball. But um, I thought that we, what we had, we had to maintain. Um, that's what was important to us to maintain. And that's what we talked about for one into the locker room was maintaining um, and making sure that the third quarter was a lot better. Next question is from Hadari. Go ahead and unmute your line. Uh, Hadari Jones, the Royal Department Media. Congratulations on the season, ladies. Um, the first question is for all three of you, and then I'll follow up with uh, – with Amber and Faith. Um, so you got, again, a short period of time, y'all have improved every year, and then you come within points of uh, uh, clinching a bid into the NCAA. With everything that you've gone on, with everything that's going on this year, um, how do you feel about the season? And, and, and what, describe what it feels like to be to this point, knowing what you have to build on for next year. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing is the fight, you know, um, you're asking 18 to 21 year olds to make so many sacrifices to to not um to not be college students. You're asking them to to stay out of crowds. You're asking them to do a lot. So I think the sacrifice is the biggest thing that I'm working for because it could it could have went any way. You know they could have wanted that that college life um, way more than this basketball life. And they chose the basketball life. Um, another thing is the winter storm. You know there was a time where you know we didn't know who we were going to play with that going on, and they stayed positive with it. Um, so um, three years ago. We were here, um, but we weren't here with experience, you know. Last year, unfortunately, ended uh, rapidly. But this year, you know, it proved that, you know, we're on the right track. We're heading in the right direction. Um, so the biggest thing right now is just to, to build on that. No, it doesn't feel good right now. Um, both of these beside me understand the point that it doesn't feel good. But the goal is to build on that um, and make sure that we, we punch our ticket um, when our chance comes again. 
Um, Dario, I had to mute you, but you can unmute and ask your follow up to the student athletes. Yes, ma'am. So, um, Faith, they 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 kind of sped you up, um, and and you guys missed a lot of baskets close. I mean, a lot of buckets close to the basket. Um, um, what were, what were the struggles as far as being able to adjust and 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 settle down to make sure that those look is counted? I mean, those are just shots we have to hit around the basket, and I can't have those those turnovers in crucial times. Um, I felt like we handled the pressure very well. It's just at points in the game where we shouldn't have had turnovers, we had turnovers. So, I mean, it happens. Um, we're learning from it, and, you know, just trying to get better for the next time. We have time for one more question. Um, Josh, I know you have one more. You may unmute your line. Coach, you know, uh, just looking back a couple of years ago when you took this job, you know, Sam Houston was picked to finish dead last in the Southland Conference, and here you all are, you know, just a couple points away from a championship. You know, just talk a little bit about this journey and, you know, what it means for you to kind of see the program grow to the level it is now. Um, when, when, I took the, um, when I took the job, um, my vision was always to win a championship. I think I tried to set the, the standard from the day one when I was on campus. Um, but it wasn't easy. You know, changing the culture is very hard. Um, you have to get people to buy in. Um, I just did in the locker room, you know. Um, Amber buying in, you know, was crucial with her being a freshman and faith coming from another institution and sitting out and buying into the program and just learning the system was crucial. Um, I'm, I'm truly proud of, you know, the foundation that was laid uh, from two years ago. Um, my biggest focus now is to make sure that we understand, you know, what championship basketball is, what it looks like, um, how we get there. Um, Am I, am I proud of today? I'm proud because I got the opportunity to play today. I'm not proud we lost, um, but I'm definitely grateful for the process, the progress that we've made in the last few years to be 